good morning uh, today session we will see uh, the protocols of mobile transport layer so the outline of this session is uh, learning objective learning extension resource for transport layer motivation tcp mechanisms influences of mobile mobility on tcp mechanisms and uh, some of the classical protocols like uh, indirect tcp snooping tcp and mobile tcp and the outcome of this uh, session will be the learners will be able to classify and explain classical protocols of mobile transport layer i believe that the students uh, must have gone through this youtube video that explains the various layers of osi model so normally transport layer uh, will be having a tcp uh, protocol so it is a reliable transmission uh, protocol and it is it uses a uh, three way and shake uh, method uh, the client will send a tcp synchronized packet to the server the server will acknowledge with the synchronized acknowledge packet and uh, the client will again acknowledge with the tcp acknowledge uh, this is uh, three packets uh, these three packets are used for uh, connection setup and um, many protocol uses uh, tcp uh, for example http hypertext transfer protocol is a application protocol it uses uh, tcp uh, for data transmission it sends a http request to the server and uh, so the server in turn returns http response uh, thus uh, tcp is a stream oriented uh, network friendly and it controls uh, congestion um, and slow down transmission but uh, we cannot use uh, the standard tcp in wireless and uh, mobile networks the main reasons are uh, packet loss due to transmission errors and packet loss due to change of the network so the result will be uh, severe performance uh, degradation so uh, tcp so it is normally uh, designed for fixed end systems uh, fixed and wired networks uh, the research uh, issues behind uh, tcp protocol is, is performance congestion control and uh, efficient retransmission so tcp congestion control um, the packet loss in fixed network it is mainly due to the buffer overload so when the buffers are full the uh, the router will discard the packets and um, by this way uh, the tcp recognizes the congestion um, so there will be uh, some missing acknowledgements so retransmission has to be taken place so in wireless network uh, we cannot use standard tcp so we will be using uh, variants of uh, tcp protocol like uh, slow start algorithm so in standard uh, in standard tcp uh, will be having a congestion window where you will fix the maximum size maximum number of packets that can be uh, uh, that can be sent or received in slow start algorithm uh, initially we s we start with a small size and gradually uh, we increase the size of the congestion window so it is an exponential increase um, sometimes a missing acknowledgement causes uh, reduction of congestion threshold to one half of the current congestion window so if there is any uh, congestion occurs again the uh, the size of the congestion window starts with the small size uh, with the one segment and you have uh, another variant of uh, tcp for uh, mobile network is fast retransmit and fast recovery so this uh, tcp uh, sends an acknowledgement only after receiving a packet if a sender receives several acknowledgements for the same packet uh, this is due to a gap in received packets at the receiver however the receiver got all packets up to the gap and is actually receiving packets so therefore the packet loss is not due to congestion and it continue with current congestion window it will not ch change the size uh, to uh, minimum one and the uh, tcp assumes congestion if the packets are dropped uh, but uh, typically uh, this statement is wrong in a wireless network because uh, the loss can be due to uh, transmission errors 
Furthermore, mobility itself can cause uh, packet loss uh, because the mobile node roams from one access point to another access point. Uh, at the at the same time, the packet will be in transit. It may reach some wrong access point, so forwarding is not possible. So you cannot use uh, the standard TCP. Uh, the performance of uh, standard TCP degrades severely. The TCP cannot be changed fundamentally due to large base of installation in the fixed network. So the basic TCP mechanism keep the whole internet together. So now we will see some of the um, classical protocols. Indirect TCP. So indirect TCP is also known as high TCP. So it segments the connection. So you have a access point um, and you have a desktop system. So you'll be have a, having a standard TCP connection between this access point and uh, the uh, desktop system. And uh, there will be another connection between the mobile host and the access point. But this setup will be invisible uh, to the mobile host. And um, so this access point will access a foreign agent and uh, this diagram shows uh, the state transfer and uh, socket migration from one access point to another access point. Suppose uh, when handover takes place, um, so we need to um, transfer all the data from uh, the old access point to the new access point and uh, the state transfer is nothing but um, the information like a sequence number address port number will be uh, transferred and we will be transferring um, the current sockets of TCP connection to the new access points. So this happens when uh, the handover takes place. The advantages of uh, indirect TCP so there will not be any uh, changes in fixed network, no changes for the host, all current optimization to TCP still work. Then uh, transmission errors on the wireless link do not propagate into the fixed network. And uh, you'll be having very fast retransmission of uh, packets and uh, delay will be very uh, short. And uh, this tra simple to control. Mobile TCP is used only for one hop between a foreign agent and mobile host. The disadvantage of this method is so there will be a loss of end-to-end -end semantics. An acknowledgement to a sender does not uh, any longer mean a receiver really got a packet. The foreign agent might crash and there, be, there may be higher latency possible. And another approach is snooping TCP. Here uh, the buffering of packets is sent to the mobile host. So here the access point uh, uh, acts as foreign agent. It snoops the packet flow from mobile host to foreign agent and uh, vice versa. If there is any packet loss it will retransmit it. Um, so the problem is uh, it does not isolate the wireless link as good as ITCP and snooping might be useless when it depends on uh, encryption schemes. And another approach is uh, mobile TCP. It is similar to ITCP but um, it has supervisory host. Uh, this is connected to a standard TCP fixed network. And this supervisory host uh, does not have any ca catch, so it will not uh, retransmit any packets, but it will monitor all packets. If uh, any uh, connection is disconnected, that will be detected and it will uh, set the window size of the sender to zero. Sender will automatically goes into persistent mode. So the advantage is uh, it maintains semantics, support disconnection, no buffer forwarding. So disadvantages are loss on wireless uh, link propagated into fixed network, 